What's going on everybody, Shane here. If you'd have told me six months ago, maybe a year ago, that one day there would be a Chrome OS tablet that I would actually want to use as a tablet, I might have thought you were crazy. Because Chrome OS just simply wasn't great for a tablet. The interface just didn't work. You really needed a mouse and keyboard. You needed that trackpad to navigate. Well now that I have the HP Chromebook X2, which of course has a detachable screen to turn into a tablet, that opinion has changed because I have found myself using this as a tablet way more, way more than I thought I would. Granted, I still use it as a laptop most because I like a laptop on my lap, but this thing's about three pounds. You take off the screen and now you're about a pound and a half because they did weight the keyboard so that it doesn't flip over. And as a tablet, it's kind of great. It's a big, high resolution screen. It's snappy. There are gestures. There are all sorts of cool things that work very well. Two front firing speakers. It actually works well as a tablet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly why Chrome OS in tablet mode actually does work. So this is my normal Chrome OS desktop. I've got three things pinned down to the bottom. I have my Chrome browser, the Play Store, and my link for the web app for uh, text messaging on my Android phone. And for the longest time, this is what it looked like. Um, you would pull it from the bottom to get your apps, and that was pretty much your desktop, period. Well, now that we're getting some tablet mode Chrome OS devices, they've decided to implement some changes in the way that the desktop looks and the way that the, the device actually behaves when you're in tablet mode. So I'm going to detach the uh, tablet from the keyboard. And now, as you can see, the home mode, the home screen rather, has changed completely. The search at the top, you have suggestions at the top as well for things that it thinks that you might want to do which is kind of interesting, similar to what something that the Pixel is uh, doing, the Pixel phone. So what's interesting here is now that when you're in an app, if you pull down from the top, it takes you to this multitasking screen. And from there, if you want to close something, you would simply just throw it away. Very similar to how it works on something like a Pixel phone. You can also just hit the home button down there bottom left. That'll take you back home. So you can launch whatever apps you want to launch, and they're going to just live here in the back you can still even go to this and they, they actually run live in the background which is pretty interesting so you can still go through all of these things and they're there in fact if you're playing one of these videos they would continue playing even when you're in this multitasking view which i find to be pretty interesting pretty useful so i went from thinking oh i'm not really going to use this device as a tablet all that often to now I kind of am using it as a tablet. It's actually pretty useful to detach. It becomes about half the weight. You've still got this beautiful screen. You've got the front facing speakers there and suddenly you have an interface that's pretty usable even as a tablet. At first I wasn't super wild about the gestures because they were different. I kept wanting to pull up from the bottom and as you can see nothing happens when you pull up from the bottom strangely enough. I still think that needs to be fixed. But once I got used to pulling down from the, uh, the top, everything's fine. Now, something else you can do is you can still split screen even in, even in tablet mode, which is pretty interesting. Let's, let's, um, let's actually demonstrate that real quick. So to show you the multitasking, if you pull it on from the top, you can simply stick one app over there, select that app for over there, and off you go. You're in your multitasking mode. Everything really works pretty well. In fact, I would argue that this works better than um, what a lot of the Android devices we're using work. You can even switch on individual sides. You can pull down from one side or the other to change what app you're, you're multitasking with over here, which is pretty cool. It's pretty well thought out. So, yeah, so this is basically Chrome OS in the new tablet mode. I think it's pretty good, pretty solid. Once you drop it back into the dock with the keyboard, it will seamlessly switch back to the regular desktop that you're used to. Hulu stays resized there because it was shrunk. You can just re-maximize that. Good as new. Everything works great. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.